Hi guys, Omar with Overlanding Just Cause, and in this video, I want to give a quick update on the Chrome Delete that I've done for the GX so far. Now, tomorrow I'm taking it to get wrapped, so I want to do this quick video now before the, the finished product. If you guys remember from my Chrome Delete video, I use HyperDip to do the door panels, to do the back, um, and it's kind of worked i left the one in the back and i'll show you that in a second but if you notice i completely ripped off uh the hyper dip that was on the door panel and the reason why was because i was getting uh, little bubbles throughout i think the mistake that i made is the door panel this whole area right here was not completely dry the vehicle has to be completely dry well i dried it but I noticed that while I was spraying, I was seeing little drops of condensation that was behind this panel. And that ended up causing little bubbles. So mistake on my part, um, I thought it was completely dry and I just didn't like the way it looked. So it only lasted a couple of days. I took it off. It didn't last a couple of days. I took it off after a couple of days. Um, but if you remember my wife said that she could uh to give her a chance on the chrome delete on the actual vinyl wrap so i ended up buying where is it i ended up buying this roll of uh satin black uh, 3m vinyl wrap notice right there and we went around the car and she deleted all the chrome that was here on the window trim the door handles this goes all the way around all the way up she did a really good job any audio i look gross there's not gonna be any audio it's just you working <laughs> and then when i took the uh hyper dip off this we ended up doing the satin uh wrap vinyl wrap on here the back is still hyper dipped so i didn't change this out only because it turned out very smooth and no bubbles um yeah so i mean it actually looks good the emblem looks good and really honestly i think that hyper dip is meant for little things like this not not a whole side so that's what it looks like and then the other side with same thing door handles the trim and the side the next thing i want to show you guys is the tint on the uh headlights and i'll show you the tail lights in a minute but this was harder than well according to my wife this was harder than the actual satin wrap uh, doing doing the chrome delete this uh, definitely took a long time and we did the windows here that's a dead bug or we did the lights here and it turned out very nice both sides down below see what it looks like and it's a smoke um, a smoke colored tint we did these here and then lastly, we did this down here. Now, we also did the rear tail lights, but those were super hard. And not because she couldn't really do it, it's just that the wrap wasn't big enough, so we ended up having to do a lot of stretching. So if you notice, I went with aftermarket uh, tail lights these are the sequential lights that when the turn signal comes on i'll show you guys that in a second but i found these on amazon for 158 dollars normally they're like close to 400 bucks the reason was because they were open box and the reason for it being an open box is that it has a little crack right there other than that they were perfect i mean they were still in the wrap it's just i guess in shipping it got cracked there or chipped off which is fine because 
it's not part it doesn't leak into the inside of this so it's just an exterior piece but that's what it looks like and luckily I found it in a smoke color so it definitely does match the uh, factory uh, rear lights down here reverse lights that again are also tinted with smoke this is the box that those headlights came in as you can see it was all banged up and this was our attempt to smoke the OEM tail lights and this is the reason why I decided to uh, to switch them out and just buy aftermarket it just started bubbling up and again it's because the wrap itself uh, wasn't long enough or big enough so we ended up having to stretch in the corners and then once uh, that material settled it, uh, it kind of snapped back this side was actually done we didn't do as much stretching on this side so as you can see it really does look good the only place that doesn't look good at all is i don't know if you guys can see that this was super hard to kind of figure out but that was all my wife's doing she was super frustrated the thing with this is i called the company that's about to wrap i asked them how much to do the two uh, rear tail lights he said 200 250 was the price now i can buy brand new ones for 388 luckily i found these for 150 and yeah already smoked what do you guys think that's the end of the video i just wanted to give you guys a quick update little walk around of the chrome delete and the tinted windows and the new addition with the tail light and uh tomorrow uh starts the wrap on the body and yeah, hopefully I get some footage from that and stay tuned. Next week's video will be the grand reveal of the GX460.